Steve, you're out of the room there. Mm -hmm. Carl took a phone call from someone. Okay. He's found a cellmate. Right. Not a soulmate. I think one day they will be cellmates. Yes. Because he's just like, he loves everything Carl loves. And he was telling Carl stuff, and Carl's face was lighting up. Yeah. He's told him of two Russian kids in the circus. They're covered in air, and their mum tells them off because they're covered in fleas. <laughs> Carl said, See, that annoys me again, innit? They just, they do something else. And the bloke went, yeah, they should just make money out of being hairy. <laughs> and Carl went, exactly. <laughs> and, the, and he said, have you heard of the, the three-legged juggler? And the bloke went, no, what's that? He went, that annoys me as well. Because he thinks they shouldn't have done juggling, they should have done football. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though, Steve? What do you mean something... a three-legged juggler? What are you talking about? He's a about? famous three-legged juggler. Oh, he's mega famous. <laughs> he's like the Beckham of wherever he's from. But the other day I was looking in, I don't know, Bizarre magazine or something, right? And there was this fella who, uh, he had no arms. Uh, so you saw a picture of him, his job was fixing watches, did it with his feet. <laughs> Go on. Well, it's just, why pick the most hardest job to do when you haven't got any hands? Crush, <laughs> crush grapes. <laughs> or... Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that, that annoys me. Oh, crush grapes! Imagine him being told that and that he comes into the, uh, the careers advisory where he goes, Now, uh, what do you want to do, Hargreaves? Uh, make watches? Right, take a look at your arms. Crush grapes, mate. <laughs> Sorry, you're a grape crusher. Next. Brilliant. Brilliant. I would love you to be a career advisory in some sort of clinic. It would be brilliant. I love the fact that it annoys you. Here's a man, he's got no arms, he has learned to fix watches with his feet. Yeah. An incredible talent, incredible skill, he's utilising that brilliantly. That's annoying to you. You are angered by it. I I'm only being honest. Now you be honest, right? Your watch is broke, who would you go to? You're in a rush, you need it fixing in a rush. <laughs> now, you need some fresh wine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Be honest. Oh, you're amazing. Well, what's this thing that you've been talking about this video? Freaks. Right. It was a thing that was banned for like 50 years. Uh, I think it's been taken off again, but I don't know why if it's just been deleted. Right? I, I, it's a quest. If anyone out there has got a copy of Freaks on DVD or VHS, can Carl borrow it, please? I just, I, I mean, I almost want to set up a camera to see him watching it. Um, it's absolutely real. They use people in the circus of the time. I think it's the 20s or 30s of the Depression. And there's, there's people, there's coneheads, there's a bearded lady, all genuine. There's a bloke they call the human slug who's got no arms and no legs, Carl. And he's just there and he rolls a cigarette and lights it with his mouth. I think I've seen his brother, <laughs> who isn't called the human slug, is called... The pillow. <laughs> <laughs> right. How does he make a living? He, um... Does anyone want to meet Carl for money? Do you know what I mean? Like, the I'm annoying a... thing was, right, there was a picture of him, I was gonna put it on I our... think I've seen his brother. I've, uh, on our website we've, we put things up like this, right? If you go to ricky.gervais at xfn.co.uk forward slash... What? You put things like that on my website? It's nothing to do with me. I want people to know that that website is not kept or looked at by me. So, I don't, what have you put on there? There's a fella on there who's known as the Pillow, <laughs> and he's God. um. You see, I, I get a bit worried with things like this because we're not sort of having a, having a go or anything. It's just things that fascinate, fascinate you. Me. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's a guy. It might. It might be the same sort of thing. What's your one? I called? bet you used to stare at people with goiters, didn't you, when you were little in Tesco's? Well. Just go go to xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky. It is. What's the worst thing you've ever seen on like a human face? You know, you know what it is, and what I don't is want it? to talk about it. I can't remember. No. Have you told me? Yeah. What is it? But go, it's not go the elephant to, lady. Go to should... the yeah. Is it the elephant lady? You talked about that. I know. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it again. Go to the website and see the human pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Why is I... he a human pillow? That's what annoyed me. I thought he was more of a draft excluder. <laughs> Things are flying here at XFM. We, we, people have called in. There is a video of freaks on the way. Carl's going to see that within the week. That's exciting. That is exciting for me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> about our education of Carl. We started off trying to teach him about science and history, and now we just find that he likes pictures of every Chinese kids and Who women. Doesn't? Who doesn't? No, true. You've got a theory about pictures of freaks, haven't you? 
Uh, it, you, see, you see, you always bring things up that I don't want to talk about, because I'm, I'm really worried that people, if you've just tuned in for the first time, it's the first time you hear it, and we're talking about airy Chinese kids. Yeah. Talking about the human world. Carl, Carl, listen. People don't think that you're taking the piss out of those people. They lump you in with them. They, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They, they think that you're a freak of nature. So you can say anything you want. Do you know what I mean? Because it's honest, it's from the heart, it's genuine. So, don't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, but Suzanne was saying last night that I, I've just, I've got a heart of stone, or whatever it is. Why? Because, because I wasn't crying at Comic Relief. And all, all, all I always used to say to her, get out Elephant Man, let me watch that for 30 minutes, I'll be crying my heart out. Why? Why do you care about that but not... Because it's, that, that, that is more real, isn't it, right? Think of John Merrick. Sorry, sorry. What, the film starring John Hurt is more real than footage of starving people in Africa? No, but what I'm saying is, think about... See, this is why I didn't want to bring it up, because people are gonna <laughs> just say... Well, you're allowed to cry at what you like. You can't, people can't have you for not yeah, crying imagine, at someone and crying imagine, at someone else. Imagine that, like, if you've seen the film, you know, his head's all, you know, messed up and that. Yeah. He's getting picked on all the time. Yeah. By it's Michael just, Elphick, I remember. Yeah. yeah. It's just really, really sad. Whereas, you know, we try to help But you yeah, give him a bun people. and he forgets it. Do you know what I mean, though? He never forgets, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway. Oh, God. We're giving away stuff again. Yeah. Um, time Tell for me a theory about p p p freaks who have their picture taken. No, I I'd leave it. No, can I tell we'll you? We'll do it next week. Then. Can I tell you what this Go is? Go on quickly. What is it? Right, when he sees a little picture, like in his books, he's got. He carries round those oh, yeah, yeah, things, yeah. right? And there's like a, a fella with a little head with some like uh, uh, able-bodied people. He goes, the only reason he must know, the only reason they got to take that picture, right, was so they could show their mates, say, look at me, the little fella <laughs> with a little head. <laughs> that's what. That's his theory. Yeah. That every picture of a of a of a freak, they're right, being Steve. Let me describe the picture to you. <laughs> this this little fellow with a little head, right, playing on the piano. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> All his family stood around and mates and that. When have you ever seen a picture of someone playing the piano and everybody <laughs> wants to be in on it? <laughs> Doesn't happen. Maybe it was one of those kind of Christmas <laughs> cards they it sent out. It everyone. wasn't. It wasn't. You could see one of them was like in a rush to go away. He was probably uh, planned to go out, and he was like, "But well, they were taking a picture. It's oh, I'll be in it then before I go out." And it was all. He's out of order. Yeah. If you say, if, do you know the one I, I mean? do know the one you mean, yeah. <laughs> what about the one in the, uh, when you went down to Cornwall, in that little we'll pub? We'll talk about that next week. What, what, do you want to get on, do you? Yeah. Yes, We've Dave. also got a new feature, Cheeky Freak of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done Cheeky Freak of the Week. That's a new feature, <laughs> yeah, no, That's a new feature. Cheeky Freak of the Week. Let's do Cheeky Freak of the Week. What is the cheekiest freak of the week? So I, I make, I'm just gonna apologise now, I'll just add, Freaks, sorry to freaks. Okay, yeah, right, go ahead. Well, we've, I mean, we've sort, I say it's a new feature, but we've sort of touched on it in the past with- We always talk about freaks. Hairy Chinese kid. Yeah. Um, we've had, um, the pillow man. Yeah. Are you called um, a draft excluder? Just making up that with you, Rick, on the Yeah. List. People yeah. without arms and legs. <laughs> mm. But at least, you see, the pillow man, what do you picture? Because I was saying to Ricky in the week, right, I I'm a great fan of the elephant man. Mm. That's his, you know, that's his favourite freak. Oh, the of all man. the freaks, that's Do you know why he said, do you know why he said, he said, he said, cause you, you get what you pay for. When someone says the elephant man, it, you get what it says on the tin. Right. You know you're gonna get it. Yeah. Do you know, do you imagine, Steve, if you had a mate and, and you said, where are you going? He said, I'm gonna go and see me mate. And you go, which mate? And he said, the elephant man. Yeah. Straight away, <laughs> you haven't even met him, but you know what he's gonna look like. Yes. Right? That's what I like about that. Airy Chinese kid. Yeah, you know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Pillow man. Pillow man. Yeah, not so good. What, what does that mean? It yeah. could be one of those big fat things on that show, couldn't it? A big pillow, like a. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they, you know that big thing about the, the fat people and feeders. They were getting up to like sixty stone and that. Big one. And there's um, there's a thing called um, fat admirers that just fancy fat women, right? And uh, Are you writing that down? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and they had blow up versions. It looked like a bouncy castle. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> You could blow, you'd be knackered when you blew that up. Yeah, you just wouldn't exactly. want to go forget it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, well, I That's people being cruel as well, isn't it? Because after watching the programme on Channel 4 about the, you know, the, um, fat people and fellas who like them and stuff, uh, there was a story on one of the news websites about some fella in Germany, right, who was a big fella, um, 
must have been about fifty stone, and he fell over, right, and I think he hurt his ankle or something, and timber. They sent firemen instead of like an ambulance. Yeah. So straight away they're having a bit of a laugh. They're not. No, they've got winching gear. Well, they didn't know. They didn't have winching gear. They had to use the hose pipes what? to carry him out. I think it was Anna Nova, that news website. They had to use. The hose pipe, so they made like a bed using the hose pipes. Oh yeah. And had to carry him out on that. And then they had to sort of get him into a special truck, they said. Mm -hmm. And do the same when they got to the hospital. Oof. I mean that's a bit That's mad, isn't it? They shouldn't do that. Although Carl, I'm loving that story. I'm just worried that we're not gonna be able to fit in Cheeky Freak of the Week. What's so the Cheeky Freak of the Week? week? Alright, Cheeky Freak of the Week. Um something I found on the net. Yeah. A fella who had twenty seven Toes and fingers. In a jar? <laughs> no, still on him. And proper ones as well, not like little stumps and that. Proper, fully formed fingers. He was had he, like. Was he a pianist? <laughs> Close up magician. I don't know what he did. He just said that. that he was Cat's cradle professional. Did he, he ever was... work on finger bobs? <laughs> <laughs> He was saying in the week. <laughs> For the crowd scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now gonna do Braveheart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he said about the elephant man, he went, he said, I wanna do a thing right with freaks where it's good and bad. He went, what has he said the, the, the pro about him is? What about the fellow with loads of fingers or? No, the elephant man. Well, he. He, he said the bad thing is he stretches his jumpers. <laughs> 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 when he puts them on. Yeah. yeah. But and what's the good thing? <gasps> sort of, he never gets up and goes, oh, my hair's a bit of a mess today. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's always having another bad face day. I <laughs> 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 uh, oh, like the complaint about his head and shoulders. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So that's freaky. Didn't freaky. you see an elephant woman in uh, Manchester? Yeah, yeah, leave that. What do you mean, leave it? No, because it, it, it is sad. I know it's sad, but, but I mean, uh, I don't know what yeah, my next yeah. sentence is. So. Yeah, that think. should be the end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it, need oh. to say anymore, people will know what she looks like. It's a good name for her. <laughs> Did she like buns? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it was when me, uh, it's when my dad was a taxi driver and he used to sit in the front. Yeah. And she used to get a lot of taxis. Yeah. And uh... And he only charged you half price, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was a good guy. Well the bad thing is as well with people like that, you don't want to offend them because they never forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh go! Right. But, uh, go was, Pilkington! I was in, I was sat in the front of the cab and my dad goes, right we're gonna go and pick the uh, you know, the... I, I can't even tell you the name, these guys, it's just evil. Right? What do you mean? No, leave it, so she's got- No, no, no! No, Carl, please. tell me what he said! No. You've already stitched him up with Steven things from Little Welsh I Fellas. Don't care. Right, what did he call her? I, 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 Steve, back no! up on this, I really Carl, don't no, want to- No, to be fair, our opinion of him is already pretty low. Look, tell me what he said. No, it's not, I'm scared of what my dad gets, it's the person who's got- the She's not running. listening, is she? Well, her headphones wouldn't fit on her head. <laughs> tell me what he called her! I don't want to. Tell me what he called her, Carl. I'm getting angry, man. Tell me what he called her. No, I'll leave that. Honestly. Tell me what he- It doesn't matter. Tell me what he called her! Carl, just- I'm gonna Steve. go- I, I, seriously, I want to right, know what he called I, her. I, right, you're not gonna stop this show. We're not doing the next show until you tell me what he called her. What did your father call the elephant head woman? Tell me! Spudhead. <laughs> <laughs> how old were you? How old were you? I don't know, about nine. Did you did you, so did you expect to see a potato with a dress? He did sort of, again, it's a good name, do you know what I mean? I had an idea of what it was gonna be about and he said, do you wanna stay in the car, take you on because you can't- Spud heads, you've got lovely eyes. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, just remembered, we've got Cheeky Freak of the Week to fit in. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, what's your Cheeky Freak of the Week, quickly? Just throw that away. Right, well it's just like, you know, we look at, we look at Cheeky Freaks. Uh, Is this show offensive in any way to some people, do you think? Ding dong! <laughs> <laughs> Got any buns? <laughs> oh, it's uh, the elephant man! Go on. Right, well, it's a bit of a problem for you, this one, Steve, right? I'm chucking it forward to you. Remember the uh, Cheeky Freak of the Week that we were talking about? Uh, that, that illness where people age quicker? Mm. The five-year-old girl that was older than her mum, mm. and he said to you, 
w what if you ran off as you wouldn't serve her fags and beer and you went yeah. no he went why not and you went because it's a five year old yeah right he went oh she's got enough problems give her some fags <laughs> <laughs> you remember that yeah, don't sure, you sure. yeah right so, another dilemma for you right picture this you're running a restaurant right door goes right uh a few people most of them look normal. You know it's the woman at the back, <laughs> crawling on all fours. Mm -hmm. Uh, top half is woman, right? This is real. Yes. This isn't like a comic or anything. This is on, yeah, this is on the internet. Yeah, I've seen it. They're called dog people and her legs just come straight down. They're like little, there's been legs at the back and so they walk on all fours because it's easier. Dog people, right? Yeah. You've Not dog people. They're human beings right. with yeah. deformed back legs so they walk. It's easier for them to get around like that because they can't. They can't stand up because they can't stabilise and also it comes straight out of their hips. Right. right. So you're running a restaurant, it's a busy night, you haven't really got time for any hassle. She comes in. Uh-huh. Would you serve her? Um, the premise being what? That he doesn't serve dogs? Because the restaurants don't allow animals in. Right! She- Right. Right. So it's a dilemma. It's not a dilemma, right. she's not a dog. She's a human being. Yeah, with I, put some, I put, you know, a plate of meatballs <laughs> on the floor <laughs> and she tucks in. <laughs> and a little glass of, you know, a little bowl of wine <laughs> <laughs> next to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, he turns round. There's the woman older than. Uh, Get away from that plan. <laughs> have we got a cheeky freak of the week? Do you want one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Let, I think we should have a jingle for this. Okay. I've got. I've. Uh, yeah. I've got a jingle. It's very similar to chimpanzee. Ch chimpanzee. That. Yeah. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Oh, cheeky freak of the week. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, no, I think that's excellent. So, cheeky okay. freak of the week, you've spotted a this freak is this where, week. This is where somewhat, I think, offensively, you pick on someone who's, who's not like other people and say it's your favourite freak of that week. Yeah, I remember we had the woman whose, uh, legs look like the hind legs of a dog. Um, we've had the little fella with the aging disease, with the little Ed playing the piano. That's- that was your favourite. I think that's your probably freak of the year, isn't it? It's a pretty so, good one. So, wh what, what, what's, what's this? Is it a man um, with a, a horrendous injury or is it a congenital, um, birth defect or what? Yeah, but you put it like that and now it sounds like I'm being tight. It sounds like I'm being out of order. But I'm just giving him a mention. <laughs> <laughs> just giving him a big shout out. Right. Yeah. Uh, there's <laughs> quite a lot going on in the freak world. Um, <laughs> Oh, is. You've, what, you've been visiting hospitals the last week, have you, when we were away? No, there was a, there was a thing on the, on a website. This isn't even the one that I've picked, so. So this is just a bonus. This is a bonus freak. Please, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Uh, this is a free freak. It's a fella called a lobster man. <laughs> the lobster man, of course. <laughs> Again, good name, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what are you gonna get? Some, some succulent <laughs> meat. I like the idea with... that- I like the idea that the vicar on the christening suggested that. <laughs> I know you want to call him Mark. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> yeah. Look at his hands. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Mark Michael uh, Webster. Right, um, right. Uh, uh, yeah, have, have you thought about a nickname? Not really, no. Have you- no, have you his hands? Yeah, it, we, we don't want to talk about that because- Do you know they look a little bit like lobsters? Well, yeah, but it's quite deformed. It's a, like, you know, we can't- Can I suggest lobster man? <laughs> That's terrible, Vicar. <laughs> that is terrible, Vicar. We're- Pidgey. <laughs> Go on, then. Yeah. We're gonna go see. This is what the sort of feature you come up with, Carl. So, Lobster Man. There's probably people listening now with, you know, lobster feet. Right. Lobster hands. So, um- Squid Boy. <laughs> so, Lobster Man, what does, uh, what does Lobster Man do? Does he uh, fight crime? Not that much. Okay. Apparently he got into a bit of trouble. He was in a restaurant and, uh, this was years ago by the way. And someone picked him to eat him? No, so <laughs> the, apparently yeah. the waiter, uh, said, oh, you shouldn't be sat here, you should be in my, my pan or something. Oh dear. And it, uh, they had a fight, got out of hand. Yeah. Uh, got out of claw. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so that, that was- What do you mean they had a fight? What did, what, what, I mean, what did uh, he do? A waiter took the mickey out of someone yeah. with- No. No, look, can I just make clear? I'm assuming it's his hands look a bit like those of a lobster. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's fused, so it's just like two big fingers. They're right. fused, I assume, probably in the womb, and they're just like, instead of like having yeah, five yeah, digits, yeah. they're fused in it. But it, well, he can pick stuff up, can't he? Yeah. What does he pick up? He mainly eats crabs and jellyfish, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was having a fight with the waiter, he, he snipped off his nose. <laughs> 
right. So anyway, <laughs> he just he just held on to the waiter's bib. Yeah, and exactly, the waiter was yeah. screaming, "Go and get him off me!" Yeah. So yeah. anyway, does he eat other lobsters? Does he? <laughs> does he think he would eat lobster, <laughs> or is it kind of? <laughs> Dick, uh, would he feel bad about eating lobster? Right. The, the little cheek of the freak that we've gone for, anyway. <laughs> the what? The little uh, freak of the week, yeah. cheeky freak of the week. Mm. We've gone for um, this Siamese lad. Okay. Right. Happened back in. Uh, you can't have a Siamese lad, can you? All right. Yeah. This Siamese twins uh, happened back in 1693. Oh, he's got a date. Blimey, that's the first time ever. Yeah. Um, and all it was, he was he was doing all right for himself. He, he used to go on the like those circus things he used to do. They're two people you're talking about, Carl. So we're going to him. All right then. All right. They 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 did this circus show, right? Yeah. And uh, everything's going well. The, the, you know, they're, they're selling out the tents and stuff, people coming to see them. Yeah. Um, he was doing all right for himself. Yeah. Right? Did, um, sorry, before I said that, did you think a Siamese twin was a man with two heads? Well, it can be, can't it? It depends. Well, there is, there's, there's, there's two people, they're conjoined. No, 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 but it depends, doesn't it? The one that I shown you in that book that time was a fellow with two heads. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a, 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 was a, f uh, a stupid picture in one of your stupid books that he had a growth that looked a little bit like it had a face on it. It wasn't a man with two heads. You're the same sort of people who send potato chips to Esther Ranson and say, doesn't it look like Norman Cook? Yeah. It's not two heads. <sighs> we'll bend this feature. No! <laughs> No, it's, it's just- They're uh, two people. They're two people. Conjoined twins. Yeah. Right, so these- it's just sort of, They just happen to have a similar taste in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so there's- yeah, they were doing all right and it all went wrong when he crossed the road, got run over. The lad with two heads got run over. That's it. <laughs> what?! How is that- how is that Jiggy Freak of the Week? Just beca just because it got my interest and I kind of thought, why didn't it just look both ways? <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued to know Why you... wasn't he looking both ways? <laughs> I'm intrigued oh. to know how you, uh, how you get run over and what was it, 1629? Yeah. Well, it's horses and that, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, why wasn't he looking both ways? <laughs> Carl, Carl Pilkington, you are a genius. Um, like I say, it's been a struggle, we'll, we'll... We'll do that. We'll do uh, cheeky freak of the week. Do you want to? Oh, definitely. Should we do cheeky freak, we of, have the cheeky freak of the week? I can't wait. I've, I'll always do these. I'd start off with these. All right. Well, let's have the jingle for cheeky freak of the week. Oh no! Do you remember it? No, I remember it. Oh, uh, oh, cheeky freak of the week. Brilliant. Something like that. <laughs> I want someone because that was slightly uh, half hour. Oh, cheeky freak of the week. Excellent. Right. This uh, we're going back again. Yeah, seventeenth right. century. Uh, well, it was it was eighteen twenty nine, right? Oh, I'm impressed. Um, yeah. Now the problem is with cheeky freak of the week. Um, not so much the week, is it? If you're going back to eighteen twenty nine. Well, not even of the century. You haven't even done cheeky freak of the century. Mm. There's what's the problem with cheeky freak of the week? Just because, <laughs> other than the sort of moral implications. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, last week it was a fellow with two heads. Yeah. Mm. We've done Siamese twins. It's Siamese twins again. Oh, it's no, Siamese it was twins Siamese again. twins. It wasn't a fellow with two heads last week. It was Siamese twins, conjoined twins. Sorry, they're two different people. Mm. This is what I'm telling you. But this is the problem. They're going to crop up quite a lot just because they've got double a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, uh, please don't write in and complain. He knows not what he does. You understand, don't you? Uh, Carl will actually feature one day in this section. Yeah. So, right, go right, on, well, Carl. We're, go we're going back to uh, 1829. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, All the way back there to 1829. It's a retro conjoined twin link. <laughs> uh, a couple of guys set up a business. Uh, they were called Chang and Ang. Oh, they're the first. That's why they're called Chim Siamese twins because they were weren't, weren't wasn't that what it was based on? Those two Chang and Ang. Was it the original? Yeah, that's why they're, they're called Siamese twins because I think they were Siamese. So these are the first ones. Uh, well, they not the first ones, but they're first the ones one. that got to fame, I think, and why people started calling them. The people started calling conjoined twins Siamese twins. I think mm. I'm right there. Anyway. Good. Um, well, the the sort of uh, set up business, sort of going around uh, the US. Well, both of them. And Europe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what they used to do, people were amazed by it anyway. Yeah. People wanted to know how they get through life doing certain things. That that you, that you think about, when you think about Siamese Twins, you think about 
you know. How do you get through a day like that? Yeah. Right? Um, and the thing that cropped up the most with people was how they take a bath. So they used to go on tour around the US and Europe and uh, sit in a bath. <laughs> Have a have a wash in that. Mm. and that. Uh, Did they ever wash each other by mistake? They go, oh, 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 that ends there, that ends there. Like those things in supermarkets, they put <laughs> yeah. one of those down. We go, oh, 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 oh. What do you, you mean? put that there? What do you mean? You know the things on the conveyor belt, the little the little dividers. Yeah, they but, wind me up those dividers. I sorry, I was just a complete tangent, but I, for some reason, it's my own psychosis. But I get so annoyed if I'm in a supermarket, I've got my shop and I'm just about to get served, and you can always see there are certain people who stand behind you getting edgy, itchy, worried that I'm not going to put the divider down to separate my shopping from theirs. It's like they're terrified that I'm somehow going to deliberately pay for their Sneaking shopping. Sneaking their onion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't get an onion, I'll have that. Mm. And it's just, but what annoys me is it's not so much that, obviously it's a practical thing, mm. it's the fact that they get a little bit edgy. You can actually see certainly kind of, um, dare I say it, certain breed of woman and a certain breed of fella will uh, just get a little bit itchy, a little bit edgy, and they just they just look at you, you can just see them sweating, especially if they can't read. I just lean over and do it myself. Well, I know, but it's the thing is that it's like they almost feel that they uh, they ought to wait for me to do it, as though somehow it's my obligation. And it just annoys, for some reason, it's I know it's ludicrous, but it really annoys me, and I actually deliberately don't put the divider down just to see them sweat. I like the way that they're, that they're actually quite well made. There's some that are brass with like a yeah. felt bottom. Yeah. Like you really care. Like a, a twig would do, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? But uh, I just leave a slight gap. And then yeah. when it gets to the, when the woman's putting it through the, the till or the guy, I just say, that's my stuff. Do you ever look at other people shopping and go, oh, I should have got that? Often. God, yeah. That's annoying. It's, I'll tell you what it is, it's the same thing. And again, it's my psychosis. When people, if you're on a bus or a train, and we're pulling into the stop, but there's a good, you know, kind of 35 seconds before we're actually going to come to a halt, they saying. leap up they get and they're first, straight yeah. by the door. Yeah. Like, but it's this fear that something, they're going to miss out. Oh my god, what if I fell over yeah, now and broke my ankle, I'd never get be, out. To be fair, I've never had that, that, um, commuter's worry, I've never commuted. But every second counts, doesn't it? Because you miss a train, it can make a difference of half an hour. So that's why commuters literally run to but, get their connections. But the thing is that with a bus, yeah. um, you, you know, there's often there'll be people who are sat right next to the exit, will get up and stand up for a while, waiting to go. It just, again, I'm not saying what, it's not, it makes perfect what, sense to them, got a day it's to my live, psychosis. They're going to be mowed down in the streets. Like, <laughs> they will just gonna, be a few You're going to be in a lovely Chrysler. Exactly. Yeah. Just, well, I will be going straight through a branch of Waitrose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taking people out in the, in the, So, in the well, we do not condone going through Waitrose in a Chrysler. In a car. Now, it's Chang and Ang, they're in the bath, they're washing their own bits, they've got one of those dividers, right, they go, well, that's, that's definitely yours, I marked mine, hmm. that's definitely mine. What? Don't wash that, Chang. I won't. I wouldn't hang. I wouldn't wash that. Right. So what? What are they doing? They're in the bath. Carry on with the story. Uh, that's about it, really. I mean, Jesus. that's that's the <laughs> the fact that people. So two people, two little Oriental fellas joined in the hip, had a bath. No, no, no. That's no. your story. No, they didn't have a bath. They sort of everybody. They must have done some sort of research, right? Who? Chang and Ang, right? And they said, well, what do people want to see? Isn't that basically City Roller song? But it's an idea that people have queued up, they've paid the money, they're in a tent, they're going, well, I hear they're going to have a bath, they're going to have a bath. Two, two Siamese people are going to have a bath. How would they possibly do it? Well, I've heard they'd get into a bath. But that, uh, that's I what don't they, know what, they what's wanted exciting. to see them nude and where, where the join was. No. More than uh, how do you get in the bath. I don't know, they just, that's that's what they picked. <laughs> they said, what what would be good to see, what, what, what do you, you know, what do you want to see them do? Having a bath. How do you and get into trousers? Was there, was well, there Exactly, this is all part of it, isn't it? That's why they picked having a bath. <laughs> this is all part of it. Well, then, once we get dressed afterwards, yeah. who was the best out of Chang and Ang? Who was your favourite? Uh, they both look the same, to be honest. <laughs> There's a surprise. One was a short ginger woman. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, is there anything you you know what what would be better than having a bath for you when you'd seen them? What what would sort of make you go? Oh, I wonder. Oh, one of them pulling and the other one going home alone. Yeah. They're going like, look, look oh, she's definitely up for it. I'm taking her home. Going, oh, what am I going to do? Can I watch? Definitely not. Definitely not. Look, you go to bed. I want to. <laughs> I want to wine and dine her. But if they, if they, if he's got her back to their place <laughs> and they're going at it, hammer and tongs. But are you saying one of them? No, hammer and tongs were their cousins. <laughs> right. They lived. They lived miles away. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 
if one of them gets knackered, can the other one take over? <laughs> God! I think we play but, a yeah, record. That annoys me. What? Well, that, that sort of being at it all night. <laughs> what do you mean? Let's put a song and I'll come back What to do you it. mean? The controversial cheeky freak of the week, where Carl, um, finds, uh, a, a human being with, um, some sort of, uh, congenital or, or uh, you know, um, imposed deformity, or, you know, so, uh, and we talk about that in a, in a wry way. Do you think that, do you think that's big and clever? No, but that's, that's just it. It's never about taking the mickey out of someone, right? It's about, it's to make you think- I'll tell you what isn't big and clever. How lucky you are. A dwarf with learning difficulties. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> we'll explain it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, he wants you. Brilliant. Yeah. So, Carl, off you go. Well, we, we, we're not gonna do, uh, Freak of the Week here. Okay. Right? Because we've, we've done quite a bit of that in the last 20 minutes, right? We've so we'll on that. Freaks, you think? Yeah. Sure. We'll just shift it a little bit. Okay. Uh, and I don't, like I keep saying, don't want people to be thinking we're sort of taking the mick out of anyone. <laughs> no. Right? Because we're not about that. I feel that, like I can do a little bit of it because I work with, with you, Steve. Yeah. Right? <laughs> sure. It, it gives yeah. me that right. It's like a care worker. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> well, it's like, it's like that thing of, you can't be homophobic because I've got a couple of gay mates and sure, stuff. Sure, sure. It, I think it sort of gives me that edge. Yeah. Right? So- So you're not freakophobic because you work with Steve? No, that's right, yeah. So, yeah. uh, yeah. Okay, well, well, that, think- but they, by, by, by that token, I should be able to sort of slag off, you know, the mentally ill. What's or at least mentally handicapped. Now, there's a term you don't hear very often. In, in 2003, <laughs> the mentally handicapped. Isn't that what oh, it was? I don't know where to start. But I, I I'd mean, like to somebody... apologise for the Lady Diana stuff, uh, the term <laughs> mentally handicapped, um, and any inadvertent racism that we may have done with What's over. the actual term then? <laughs> <laughs> Is it retarded? Oh, right, are we oh, having uh... Cheeky Freak of the Week? Do you want to do it? What yeah. time have you got to show off? Could do with shooting off sort of soonish. Okay. To be honest. <laughs> this is not radio. <laughs> Have you ever heard that on a radio <laughs> show? Chris <laughs> Tarrant going, I can't shoot off right now. <laughs> I, know, I, I know. really, I, I didn't, it's I couldn't get a later train. <laughs> I know! Get, why don't you get a later train? There isn't, there isn't, there isn't a later train. So I couldn't get to Cornwall tonight if I had to. If I had to finish this show, I couldn't possibly get to Cornwall. Rubbish. Um, of course there's a later train. Oh, I've, I've, I've booked it now anyway. Right, well, that's the like, point, isn't it? Yeah. You're not thought right, it's Whatever, whatever. I don't think the show's lost anything. I think we've still had the, you know, Freak of the Week's coming up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheeky Freak of the Week. Right, well, uh, we've had some, uh, interesting things we've been looking at. Uh, this week, it's, uh, it's about the strangest couple that ever got married. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and we've had- Two sets of chimps, yeah. so it's stranger than that. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not Dale Winton and Mel McAndrew, <laughs> It's is it? not your parents, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going back again to about, I think this is about 19, uh... <laughs> Something like that. 1940. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stra- strangest couple, a fella, right? He had skin of a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> he had the skin of a lizard, okay. <laughs> and the woman which, who he, which he used as a condom. <laughs> The yeah. woman who we married, yeah. uh, airiest woman ever, <laughs> right? Um, and that was their act. They used to uh, tour the world, and they'd say, uh, you know, it's, it's it's like you know, couple who've met, they're having a great life. Uh, let's get them out on stage. Here they are, <laughs> and they'd. Uh, they'd what do you mean out. he had a skin of a lizard? First of all, that's what that's what it said. He he had some sort of uh, some illness. So he was called Lizard Man, and you liked that because it was good description. I uh, thought that's good. I'm here. I'm here. Hello, uh, did, did we booked a table for two? Who are you meeting? I'm meeting Lizard Man. Oh, he's over there. Yeah, you know who he is, right? Yeah, I'm Look meeting out. the hairiest woman in the world. She's over there. Yeah, yeah. So what did they do for their act? Um, now bear in mind that we had some Siamese twins last week, and their act was having a bath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So well, I hope it's an improvement so on that. Liz, what did Lizard Man? He came out and ate some flies, did he? I don't, I don't really know. I think, I just think they stood there on that. Yeah, what do you, when you read this and you, it goes, the most interesting fact ever, uh, lizard man, and you go, that's enough, that's yeah, enough, yeah, I well, can extrapolate from yeah, that. but straight away I start thinking, I'm thinking, right, I wonder if they got the wedding photos. 
And then, like you said, that they had a kid. Oh, what would that be like? Arthur, exactly, Lizard, exactly. Arthur, it'd be like an ostrich, wouldn't it? It that's, would sort of like. That's what I was thinking. What did you think it would come out like, the baby? I didn't think what that looked like. I just was thinking, oh, parents' evening. <laughs> Do you, you, know would, I mean? you wouldn't want them coming up to the school, would you? <laughs> so, well, that's so little problem. Johnny, who starts off relatively normal, he's quite good at, you know, he's good at nature, yeah. isn't he? And, uh, and, uh, his mum and dad come into the room and they'd be looking around, wouldn't they? Well, it's always like that thing at school when, mm. like, you find out your, your mates' mum and dad are really old. <laughs> Right, have you sure. ever seen that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when you go, have you, you know, your grand and granddad bought you? Yeah. Your <laughs> yeah, no, mum and dad, yeah. and you go, oh. It is weird. <laughs> what was that we were talking about? He calls him mum. What was that? I was like, no. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and no, like, that's always strange. <laughs> if you had a, if you had, you know, if you had Godzilla and King Kong as your parents, yeah. and, and it and was- they're like always say, fighting. They're always fighting, and, and, you know, like you say, if you're in a school play or something, you, you wouldn't tell them, would you? You wouldn't no. want him coming up with a video he camera. He didn't tell his parents oh. he was in the- when we were- Well, exactly. You, you did Little Donkey and you didn't tell your dad, did you? And he yeah. came along and videoed it. Yeah. Was kept that- Kept it quiet, kept it quiet, don't want him to know anything. But you didn't- what was it you was meant to be playing? You had a little drum, didn't you? Yeah, I was doing, uh, I had a little drum. I think it was meant to be playing We Three Kings. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> he started doing Little Donkey and I thought, I can add a touch to this. Sure, you <laughs> improvised. Started playing along. It was like the first it. remix, yeah. wasn't it? It went, went down well. But yeah, that's- that's all I was thinking with, uh, the Freak of the Week this week. That's- that's what I'm saying about Freak of the Week. It's to get people thinking, right? <laughs> thinking how lucky they are that, you know, they- they don't have to- Comb their face. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? What do you mean Freak of the Week is to let people know how lucky they are? Just- What about the little freak you're talking about? What are they thinking? They're going, oh, he's talking about me. I'm a little airy lizard man on a stick. Pop in, give us a call. <laughs> I'd like, you know, that's that's what I'd like to do on a TV program. That's what I want to do. I want to go and like meet these people and say, right, let's just go shopping. Let's, you know, we'll film what your normal day's like. Yeah. Let's pop out, Gross. nip into Sainsbury's or whatever. Yeah. Uh, you know, buy a comb. Po or park whatever. right up close to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're saying is, is you just want to get a little message out there, which is that there's always someone worse off than you. Well, there's proof of that in this room. <laughs> you know what I, mean? well, I just think it's a shambles. I've asked for Cheeky Freak of the Week and it appears that Carl's not ready. He's not prepared. No, I can sort of remember it. It's just that I like to have contempt, all the information. Contempt for but the you listener. you've just had about- oh, you've just had a whole bunch of adverts and placebo in order to get ready. We're chatting, we're having a chat and that. Right, do you want to sort yourself out in the future? Yeah. Um, someone e- this is what we were chatting about. Someone emailed in about they watched the 200 pound tumour thing and, uh, um, when it was removed, um, it was carried away in a wheelbarrow, right? Carl said, what, even when she had it removed, she still carried it round in a wheelbarrow? <laughs> and he went, I thought it's sort of like she'd got become attached to it. <laughs> you, I mean, you are, you definitely are my favourite thing in the world. It's great. Look at the way he's looking back. But I think they're all the same. The people, I mean, I've had more emails about people saying I watched the 200 pound tumour And I shaved me ass. Than anything else. Than anything else. When we ask questions we come about up science, with science we, we, just, we talk, yeah, yeah. Nothing, <laughs> we talk nothing. Science. Science. concept, we talk about political issues. One person emailed in, they said, I tuned into the 200 pound tumour documentary, it looked disgusting, I couldn't watch for long. What were you expecting? Yeah. That it might sing and dance? <laughs> do a little show for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, these, so what's these the are really your listeners, Carl. Now I think we've, do you know what I mean? You, you sort of, you find your niche. You attract your. Uh, I think me and Steve are pretty much just here. I they, think the people that we had in the early days, Rick, they've long since abandoned us. They jumped ship. They've early, got, they've they've got, got jobs. Fans. Yeah, they've got jobs. They're out now. They've, they've been released. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they're, they're, they're getting yeah. their life back together. Um, Carl, Come so on what's in, Carl. the situation with Cheeky Freak? I've, I've, I've got like a couple of bits. Like I say, I haven't got the in-depth stuff that I normally- Oh no, cause usually it's, uh, you know, it's Heavily pretty researched. scientific. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, do the jingle. We've got- a, we've, we've come up with a new one, haven't we? The Freak! Say chic. Cheeky Freak of the Week. Right, well, uh, couple of- couple of bits. I don't know which one to use as the main feature for this week. Um, it's that good, is it? Well, there's been another one born. Uh, what? Little kid. Who won? Uh, four eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Insult. <laughs> Just a guy who wears glasses. Come on. Four eyes. Uh, four eyes. Uh, two noses. Two mouths. That's weird. Isn't it? This bloke. Did he also have two heads, two bodies? Sort of born, sort of slightly separately. He wasn't no. stood next to a mirror. 
<laughs> no, no, it's weird that, isn't it? That's all you've got. Is I love that. That's weird. That I imagine the doctor said that. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Mrs. Um, Parks, um, kid's got four eyes and two noses. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> Any clues? <laughs> yeah. Any clues? So well, that's that's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. That's all the information. Well, I'll tell you what, that, no, no, that again, shouldn't be the main one. Okay, no, but, I'll answer but it. But like what? I say, this. What's the idea of this feature? What do I say all the time? Don't know. I always say, think about it. Think about what that would be like. <laughs> okay. What? Giving birth to him? No, it, no, no. Her. Be, being, uh, I think it's a girl. <laughs> being like her. Two mouths. Four eyes. What would that be like? Mad, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know what this feature is. <laughs> I don't know what do I. Is there another one? Is that you said? Uh, I mean, two. I hope everyone took the opportunity <laughs> there during that silence to just think about <laughs> what it would be like. I know I was. <laughs> Could she could she talk with a mouthful? What is that allowed? Because she's got two mouths. Yeah. yeah. Would that be all right in her house? She'd be eating. Yeah, one she could talk it? with one mouth and eat with the other. Right, I well, listen, the main one, right? You've thought about that. That's good. The main yeah. cheeky freak of the week. I haven't got all the details. Smallest person ever. <laughs> right. What? Well, how big would you say that is? Um, Carl is now sort of like holding his hands up like a fisherman, uh, long ways. That's about one foot. Right. Smallest, smallest man in the world. I, I printed the thing off and I can't find it. There's a little picture of him, right? Uh, the odd thing was- But was why, why have you asked me how- did it say or was it a picture of him? I didn't really read it. Cause you oh, didn't. for- Of course you didn't. Jesus. I just saw it and thought, oh, that's- What, that, you- that, it's that, right, that, 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 assumed it was natural size. No, it was that big. But what do you mean it was that big? Little fella, like that. But why are you doing that? What, what? It was a page with a little fella. How do you know that was natural size? No, it was because it said it's world's smallest man, and the funny thing is, I, I remember I've read the first line. I always read the first line. It said world's well smallest done. man. Well done. Well done. The weird thing is, it got an head like a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> the shape of it, apparently, I don't know if that's got anything to do with his shape and size. <laughs> oh but, uh, God! That that big. His name's Mr. Watts. And uh, the the annoying thing is, what got me is, if you're that big, yeah. right? Don't have your picture taken next to a fruit bowl. Why was he having his photo taken next to a fruit bowl? Dunno. <laughs> Whoever the photographer was, obviously having a bit of a laugh. Yeah. At his expense. Cause you- you would just stand in the middle of nowhere, you'd look normal and that, but he was- he was stood there, <laughs> just leaning on an apple. <laughs> 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 leaning on an apple? What is this in what world do you have it? No, this- this was- this was on- on the internet. <laughs> leaning on an apple? Leaning on an apple? <laughs> was it Tom Thumb? <laughs> what is this? Are you sure it wasn't that? Some sort of sci-fi show they're advertising. No, no, it was, it was, uh... <laughs> leaning on it! Can you, uh, sorry, can you just lean on the apple? <laughs> just lean on the apple, then. Do me a favour, you stand next to my chihuahua? <laughs> You're not taking the piss, are you? No, not at all, no. Could you, would you mind leaning on this matchbox? <laughs> yeah. Leaning on an apple. And that's what, so, so it just said he's the world's smallest man, leaning on an apple. Smallest man. Said about his head being like a light bulb, I don't know what, what that meant. And, uh, and I just thought, right, that- that'll do. That's that sort of cheeky rig of the week done. I think that was on, like, Monday. Right? I found that. I thought that's done. Printed it off. Forgot to get it off the photocopier. Someone's nicked it. Play record. That you got to- You know, it's just- it's, oh, Steve. No, can I just say, no, no Carl, please, no if point. I say, let's have Cheeky Freak of the Week, and you haven't done your research, you haven't got the information, just tell us you can't do it. But don't lead us on. Don't say this, this on the radio. Hold your hand up to me and go, how tall is that? It's nothing. That's it's radio. Nothing. It's nothing. Um, I, I think it was that big because he was leaning on an apple. It's not enough information. But, uh, imagine Trevor McDonald coming on, going, some news, some stuff, uh, how big's that? <laughs> How big do you think that is? Yeah. Because there was a fella, yeah, coming up after t Chris- more Chris Tarrant. It, it, Play record. I, I just- I'm- I'm angry. I'm actually angry. What would you- what could you- if I said, right, quick, you've got to come up with top five things, what would it be? I mean, I'm in- I'm into weird stuff, but it seems a bit tight to stick them in a list. What- like what? Well, like, fr you know, sort of freaky people and that. I've got that- I've got that <laughs> freak book. But I don't know if they'd be happy if I called one of them and said, good news, <laughs> you're at number one, because you've got four legs or whatever. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Okay, then, this is the exclusive Ricky Gervais Guide to Shortlist Magazine, Carl Pilkington Top 5 Freaks, in at number five. Um, so you've got to work backwards, haven't you? I've got mm. to know what's- what my number one is I think you I do work backwards. Five. Probably, uh, 
something not too good at number five, but it's still interesting. Lighthouse Man. Who's that? Lighthouse what's light Man. What's Lighthouse Man? It's a fellow with a hole in his head. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, what he does, rather than moan about it, sticks a candle in it. Shut up. What are you talking about? Sticks a candle what in it. What are you talking about? Where is the I hole? I bet he didn't call himself Lighthouse Man, did he? Well, I don't know. It's just what, what he, 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 he got nicknamed. Because he had this hole. Doctors were like, there's nothing we can do. Can't fill it. So what can I do with it? And it was of the days when there was no electric in that. You had to walk about with a candle. <laughs> right. So hang on a minute. Got okay, a I can have both got hands a little candle you. holder here. Yeah. Stuck a candle in it and he just got nicknamed the Lighthouse Man. So again, not, I mean, it's not that amazing, but I like the way he, he was sort of energy efficient. Didn't he have like wax dripping on his head? No, because it all went into the hole. So what? in a way it was filled in. By what the do end you mean? Day, it wasn't a hole though, it was a dip, surely. No, a big, a big hole. Yeah, but not a hole through the skull with wax dripping on the brain. No, no, just, just a really big hole in his head, but it had skin. Like a golf, like a golf hole. Uh, yeah, I suppose a golf hole's a good, good way of looking Perfect at it. Perfect for a candle, basically. Yeah. And then the drippage went, went into, into the- Went into the hole. Yeah. Candle sort of stood up straight. Yeah. Um, so was it in his forehead? No, on the very top of his head. That's perfect. You don't want it in the forehead, Steve. You'd have to walk back with your neck ridiculous. crick. So he was like a kind of human jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. He's a lighthouse man. What did you see? What, Sorry, what, what, what yeah, better I description do you that. need than the lighthouse man? So yeah, he's probably at number five. Wow, that's at number five, Steve. Number four. What about pig face woman of Manchester Square? <laughs> <laughs> Again, you, you're getting what it says in the tin there, aren't you? Mm. Now, pig faced woman of Manchester Square is that someone you knew growing up? No, no, it's a it's a square in London. Yeah, right. And it's just this woman who had a face like a pig, and. Uh, the rumour was yeah. that it wasn't a woman. <laughs> Someone said it was a pet bear and they'd shaved it. <laughs> that's what oh I, God! That's what was, this someone, <laughs> was this someone you saw or no, did you no, just No, no, this is going back. This is, this, years is, this is years and years ago. Yeah. Uh, when there was loads of like weird looking people. I mean, the fact that it's pig faced woman of Manchester Square <laughs> yeah. says that there might have been one in <laughs> Piccadilly Lexington. Circus. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So there was a lot more of them knocking about back then. Let's assume that um, it was a woman. And the first one, you know, the lighthouse fellow, he's a, he's a human. Do you think people would object because of their disfigurement, deformity, um, like, like being called freaks? Do you think? Well, it, it gave them a purpose back then. See, if you were a freak years ago, there was work for you. You'd have these circus things. Mm. Now, if you've got a funny head, you're on the dole. They don't do these All working shows. with Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant on uh, the world's number one audiobook. Great. Uh, number three? What about Elephant Man? Right. Stick him at number three. He's, oh, he's, he's number three? He's, the, he's surely the most famous freak ever to have lived, isn't he? He's the one who got me into it. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, sure, he's uh, sort of entry level freak. Yeah. A uh, gateway freak. Everyone, everyone is aware of him. Mm. If the Elephant Man still existed, right, and you got the opportunity to meet him, and you walked in, a couple of questions, one, what would your first reaction be? And two, what would you say to him, what would your first question be? How would I react? Well, I've, I've sort of seen him enough now that it wouldn't shock me. Mm -hmm. So I don't even think I'd flinch. Okay. Uh, I mean, like I said, when I first saw you, that <laughs> that was that was a, a bit weird. Mm. But now, look, I can look at you. I don't double take mm. or anything. Uh, what would I say to him though? What? what uh... I'd probably say, "Where do you get that hat to fit you?" <laughs> <laughs> he always had that on. Where do you get that from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sort of flat cap that he's got. Yeah, yeah that oh. one, really. So, uh, oh. very stylish. So yeah, I'd have him. So he's at number three. Right. Uh, Elephant Man number three. I can't wait for two and one. Right. Okay. Number two. Well, I know two. what my number one is. It's just number two now. I don't know his name, but there's a fella knocking about. Well, I don't think he's around anymore. But he had like a normal body. Looking at him, you'd go, "What's up with him? He's not a freak." Takes his undies off. Got two knobs. <laughs> 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 right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's nowhere to start. Do I you think he, he uses them alternately? Like, I have a way out of this one, I have a way out of that one. Or does he just, like, spread the load so he's weeing out of both? I don't think he knows. What I do you mean, he's sort of like a lucky dip. When he goes to a urinal, yeah. he sort of, he can have a little bet with himself. He's just like, I don't know what's going to happen here. So do you reckon he holds them holds both them out? Definitely. So he takes his trousers down, because, I mean, you know, he, yeah, you can't uh, use a Y front, right? Be, uh, Need more like a W front. Yeah, so um, he he pops his kex down, 
there. I don't think it's that much of a problem. It's not like, uh... Well! <laughs> I don't know. I'd prefer that than Elephant Man's head. Well, of course you would. Well, that's what I'm saying. What if you had Elephant Man's knob? Yeah, but he didn't work like that, did it? That's the thing. They said he had the body of an elephant, but that's the only thing that wasn't of an elephant standard. <laughs> His knob was normal. Whereas with this fella, it's the other way round. Everything normal, took the pants off. Oh, well, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> but why would you ever take his pants off? No, well, I wouldn't. I'm just saying if- But why- I don't know- I don't know why you'd be in a situation with this man with two knobs standing there with his pants on and you go pop your pants off. You're not a doctor. No, I say if I'm waiting in a- in a cubicle yeah. and he's there- For what? So you're I'm waiting, waiting in a cubicle have, and I'm waiting, to have, I'm waiting to have a wee at a cubicle. He's oh, taking two urinals up. And going, right. hang on, you don't need them both, do you? He goes, well, actually, oh, and have then a look at this. Right. He's got two knobs. See, I, I didn't see him at two urinals, I saw him at one, maybe them pointing inwards. If you had that, and you, and the, say the first time that you met Suzanne, would you mention that straight up? Would you say, right, before this goes any further, I've got something to show you. Well, let's see, exact, tell me exactly what you would say. All right, Carl, I can't wait to, uh, to go back to your place. Oh, maybe we should end up sort of like a boyfriend and girlfriend and live together for the rest of our lives. Er... Uh... You had normal head then, didn't you? I had- I had the same head, yeah. Yeah, but it had, like, hair in- coming out of it, didn't it, and sort yeah. of like- Yeah, but she also had a, a- a smaller arse back then as well, so <laughs> I think we've both been dumb. If you want to hear more of this kind of intellectual discussion, <laughs> then download our audios. Anyway, we need to get to number one. Yeah, number one. Okay, it is. It's, uh, it's Pillow Man. Oh, yeah. Pillow Man. Okay, now explain for those that don't know who he was. He's, uh, he's a fella with, uh... No arms and legs, mm -hmm. just a head and a little body. Um, <laughs> nickname Pillar Man. Mm. Um, what else do you need to know? Well, why is he your favourite? Just because he's amazing. Just the way he, uh, he just got on with his life. He used to light a cig, just using his like his lips and his his tongue and that. Oh, I've and seen not, this. Not it's fully a... lit. He'd buy like roll your own. Yeah, it's uh, it's in the film Freaks, isn't it? Yeah. And he, he, he had a shave it. as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How did he do you think he, he used to do it? He used to get it in his mouth, and I don't know. Jesus, it's amazing. Did he have? Did he have a knob? I think he did because he had some kids. What? He, yeah, he had kids. He was an all right looking fella. He wasn't. He wasn't odd looking. He's just sorry. He no, no. He's he's Ed. He looked like Samuel L. Jackson. Imagine him with no arms and legs. Right. That's odd though, isn't it? Really? Um, it's weird, but you've got to give it to him, you know, I mean, he's, he's there rolling his own, he's pretty cool looking. I just want to say to people, it's not, you say it looks cool to, you know, with no arms and no legs to smoke, but don't forget that smoking can stunt your growth. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, remember, he was on, like, this, this circus freak show thing with, yeah. like, a bearded woman. Yeah. Right? Um... Which isn't really a freak, is it? She's gonna have a shave. Have a shave, you're not a freak anymore. Yeah. A bearded woman. Compared to a fellow who's got no arms and legs, a bearded woman, you get out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there was, there was like a fellow with, with, uh, no bottom half to his body, uh, called Johnny Eck, was his name. <laughs> uh, <sighs> so, you know, when you're knocking about with that crowd, <laughs> you're gonna get, get a bit. Out. <laughs> you're gonna get a bit. So, yeah, he had kids and they were all normal kids. They had all the limbs. And did his wife had arms and legs? Never saw his wife. Never saw his wife. I think he's... He was probably ashamed of her, she was a bit of a freak. For someone like him, you'd think he'd just give up, wouldn't you? You'd think, forget it, what sort of life is it? Yeah. I'm like a, a Mexican jumping bean. <laughs> it's not worth it. living. But he just got on with it. He, I mean, to have a shave, I, I don't even bother having a shave some days. No, no, nor did the bearded lady. Lazy fucking bitch. So that's why I've put him at my number one position. Uh, it's just amazing, isn't it, the human? You know, how, how, you know, whatever you dealt, some people just get on with it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the pillow man. Or draft excluder, as I prefer to call him. <laughs> there you go! Oh.